Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks and today I'm answering high velocity search queries from YouTube and it seems that a lot of people want to know how to format a USB on a Mac. So this is in fact really easy um, and there's a couple of steps and I'll show you how to do that right now. First of all, you can see that I've got all my external drives showing on the right over here. And I've got this one that's uh, a USB stick that I've plugged in that says no name. If you want to be able to see your hard drives and your external drives uh, in the Finder, you simply click on the background so you make sure you're in the Finder app. And then up on the top left hand corner under Finder Preferences, you can select uh, show these items on the desktop. So you can show connected servers, CDs, DVDs, external disks. So if I untick that, I won't be able to see those anymore. And also hard disks. So I tend to have these both on. So when I have something plugged in, I can easily access it by double clicking on it. You can see that this USB stick has nothing on it at the moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and format this. You may have gotten a USB stick. Well, this is a, a fairly freshly purchased one. You can tell uh, the file system that it's formatted to by right clicking on it and selecting get info and it will actually tell you that this one right here I'm going to drag this to the center so we can have a look at it that it's formatted to the MS DOS FAT32 now I don't want the FAT32 because I'm only going to be using this on my Mac I'm not going to be taking it anywhere where there's a PC so let's format this to the Mac OS X journaled all I have to do is go down to my dock and click on the launch pad. From the launch pad, we want to locate this icon that says other. And this will have a whole lot of extra utilities like the terminal, the activity monitor, handy things for your Mac, the disk utility, bootcamp assistant. I'm gonna select disk utility. This is where we do all the formatting and erasing and partitioning of drives. So I'm going to find the external drive here so it will tell you these are the internal drives and these are one two three four external drives so make sure that you don't uh, accidentally erase or format an external drive um, that has some important data on it i tend to um, eject so right click and eject any drives that i know are important when i'm formatting just so i don't make an innocent mistake and accidentally format uh, an important disk. So those are all of my hard drives disconnected. And now I'm just, so they should disappear from this external. They're still connected to the computer, but they're not mounted. So this is the no name and I can see it's a USB external physical volume MS-DOS FAT32. To format this, we have to select the arrays. And then this will then go ahead and do a format. So we can give it a new name if we want. 8 gig and its color is actually white. So I'm going to call this my 8 gig white USB. Just so I know which one is plugged in. Now when we select the format, we can click here and we can select XFAT, MS-DOS FAT. And then these are the two um, journaled uh, and case sensitive journaled. So this is the most common one Mac OS extended journaled It works best on Mac and When I click arrays This will go ahead and format this disk for me It's not going to take very long on the Mac um, Depending on the size of the disk it can take a little bit longer So it's going to go through this process and then when it's finished you'll see a little green tick it has been done. Now I can see 8 gig white USB. Uh, it's actually changed the name. And when I right click on this here and select get info, I will see now that this has been formatted, it's been erased, and it's the Mac OS extended journal. So that's how you format a USB stick on a Mac. Um, if you need to format it to NTFS for some reason, I do have another video showing you how to do that. That's a bit more tricky because you can't actually do it within the uh, environment that we've looked at here. You have to um, boot up your Mac. You can have to install Windows 10 on your Mac 
or use some third-party software. So I will leave a link in the description of this video if you need to do NTFS. But for any other file system, you can simply use the disk utility on the Mac. I hope you found this content useful, everybody. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you have anything you want me to cover, leave a comment there and I'll get back to you. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.